Here I come. Got it. What's he doing making all that noise? Well, you know, he's a kid. I mean, when, when I was his age, I was doing the same thing. Except it was dominoes. He's doing it on one of those iPod thingies. Isn't that for reading? No, kids have, like, figured out how to play games on these things. You know, it's like a giant phone. Well, I don't think kids should have those. Or a phone either. He looks like he has both of those now. Dad, what does standby mean? Oh, son, that's a special ticket on our airline. It means we just don't know where your seat is going to be. But I am going to have a seat, right, Dad? Don't worry, you will. I'm in Dallas right now. But those nice ladies at the gate will take care of you. I hope so, because I really want to get home in time for Emma's birthday. Well, it is a long flight from Los Angeles to Miami, so you make sure and play that game of yours. It'll make the time go by lickety-split. Okay, Dad. Thanks. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah, he's talking on the phone. No, he's talking to his dad. His parents aren't here. Okay, uh, what's the big deal with that? They're not going to let this kid fly by himself, are they? There are rules against these things. I don't know, honey. I left my husband rule book at home. Nobody wants to listen to a screaming kid. Yes, dear. You're right. Of course. Cody's traveling alone to Miami, but his video games are annoying Karen. What will she do about it? I put this in place and then yes! It's built. Good thing we're in first class. Well, honey, our tickets are in economy. We're flying all the way to Miami in crowded class? Well, honey, you know how expensive first class is on a trip like this? Apparently, you don't care about me at all. Good thing you have a lot of miles from that job of yours. Those miles are supposed to only be used for the company. I don't care about that. Give me your mileage card so I can take care of this. Excuse me. Hi, how may I help you? I'm Karen Reynolds. And my husband and I need to upgrade to first class. Oh, first class. Um, um, let me look up the price for that. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to use points. Ooh, these are already reserved. I'm not sure you can use points for that. Oh, no, you can for us. Because my husband has gold status. Oh, gold? That might be different. What was the last name again? It's Reynolds. The only gold mileage member I see on this flight is Kenneth Reynolds. Oh yes, that's my husband. Well, he's gonna have to request the upgrade himself. Okay, great. Why does this airline have such red tape? She won't let me use points. Well, why not, honey? I've been building those up for years. She says you have to do it. How come I'm not on the account? That's because my employer sets all of that up. After all, they pay for the travel. Well, go up there and get us upgraded. I'm not flying economy, especially with noisy kids like that around. Yes, dear. Hi, we're the Bergstroms. The Bergstroms. James and Abigail. Yes. How may I help you? They told us we had to come to the gate for our seat assignments? Yeah, there was a mix-up downstairs. Yes, we had some reservation system error, but we'll get it straightened out. Yes, but we're still in first class, right? That's what we paid for. Well, I'm glad you got here when you did. We almost gave your seat to me. Oh my gosh, that would have been a disaster. Yes, we're getting married in Miami. Congratulations. Welcome to Totally Air. Oh, thanks. That's a relief. Oh, wait, where are our seats? Uh, one A and B. Hi, I'm supposed to ask about my airline ticket. Oh, what's the name? Cody Sterling. Sterling? Oh, yes, I see. You're on an employee standby ticket. Employee standby? What does that mean? 
That means you get a ticket after all the other passengers check in, but you get priority. You can tell all that from the iPad? iPad Pro, actually. It's the latest thing here at Totally Airlines. Cool. I got an iPad, too, but I use it to play Roblox. Excuse me. You're not going to let him on this flight, are you? Well, that's up to the airline. How can I help you, ma'am? I'm here to see if our upgrades came through. Reynolds, right? Okay. I see the name on the list here. Good, because we better get on instead of him. No, ma'am. There are no more first class tickets available. Someone already claimed those seats. What? Are you aware that my husband has a medical condition? Oh, does he need a wheelchair or something? No, he's hard of hearing. That's why we need first class. Ma'am, I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Great. You're going to make us sit in economy with a noisy kid like this? Can you believe that woman? Yeah, she's really making a commotion. Better duck or you're going to get crushed. So you two are flying first? Yeah, it's our wedding. And you're OK with that, given my husband's medical condition? Well, it is our wedding. Why? What's wrong with him? He has a hearing condition. He needs special hearing aids. He can't sit next to a boy playing games. Oh, well, we can relinquish our seats. No, we're not giving up our seats just because your husband wears hearing aids. Fine. Well, I guess my husband will just have to go deaf because you guys are going to your wedding. I mean, just ignore her. Let's talk about our trip. Fine. I can't believe you people. Uh, honey, let's leave these nice people alone. I already said fine. Let's go. I don't want to be difficult. Okay, sweetheart. <clears throat> you know what, James? I think we should give up our first class seats. Yeah, it looks like he's in real danger. I'll take care of it. Karen insists on first class tickets because the only thing she hates more than kids are video games. Totally Airlines Flight 556 to Miami is now boarding. Name? Cody Sterling. Yep, here you are. Thank you. Name? Reynolds. Yep, I have a Kenneth Reynolds. I'm Karen. I have a different ticket for you. Different ticket? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, Kenneth has an upgrade. Cool. What kind of upgrade do I have? You don't have an upgrade. There are no more first class seats. What? I made those other two people get rid of theirs. We gave the other first class seats to the boy. You can't do that. My husband has a medical condition. Hello, young man. How are you? Great. I'm going to Miami for my Grandma Emma's 90th birthday. Wow, that's a big deal. Well, I'm happy to see you're traveling in style. Yeah, my dad got me this ticket. It's pretty cool. So, what you playing on that gizmo anyway? Roblox. All the kids play it. What's this kid doing in my seat? I don't know. Honey, he was here before me. Oh, it's you two. Oh, great. We traded first class for this? Sam, the pilot would like to offer you a tour of the cockpit. Heck yeah. Oh, looks like a seat opened up in first. Nice chatting with you guys. Likewise. Oh, Abigail, you have such a great sense of humor. Finally, they kicked the kid out of his seat. Uh, I think he's coming back. Hello, are you Captain Armstrong? Oh, you must be Cody. Yeah, they said you'd show me how the plane works. Yeah, take the other seat. I'll make you honorary co-pilot. Ma'am, you're not to mix with these passengers. You gotta go back to your original seat. Oh, great. Now I have to go back to economy. Cool! Do I get to fly it too? 
No, son. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm going to give you these honorary wings. Cool. Does that mean I get to boss everybody around on the plane? Sorry, kid. Only I get to do that. Gretchen! Yes, Jasmine, what is it? There's a woman in 23C. She keeps complaining about her seat. Is that Mrs. Reynolds? Reynolds. Yes, that's her. She says her husband has a medical emergency? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Oh yeah, and with all my husband's smiles, they'd rather give first class away to a kid. You should see the cockpit. They have more action gear than a GameStop. What's a GameStop? Excuse me. Yes, what is it? My husband is having a medical crisis. Medical crisis? Oh my goodness, should we get a doctor? No, you just have to remove the excessive noise around him. Ma'am, planes are noisy. There's nothing we can do about it. No, there's just some boy sitting next to him playing some game called Roadblocks or something. Oh, Roadblocks. All the kids love that. No, not my husband. He's practically a kid himself. And he's going to go deaf if that kid doesn't stop playing that game. Fine, I'll get him to stop. He's in the first row first class. And by the way, he shouldn't be there. Son, you gotta have to turn off that game. It's bothering the other passengers. I can't turn it off. I'm uh, afraid to fly. Afraid to fly? Fine. Then you're gonna have to wear these headphones. Headphones? Cool. I forgot mine. Excuse me, is there somebody here that can help me? Yes, Mrs. Reynolds, what is it this time? That boy with the Roblox games and the headphones. I think my husband's hearing aids are gonna electrocute him. So are you saying the boy has to move? That's what I've been saying the whole time. You don't listen to me. I'm very reasonable. Fine, I'll take care of it. I'm sorry, son. You gotta take those off. What? How am I supposed to play my game? You're gonna have to play them back in economy section because I'm switching you. But, but my dad said. I don't care what your dad said. I'm switching you with another passenger. Oh, great. Oh, hi. Hi, what are you doing here? That mean lady made me sit here. Oh, the one with the orange hair? Yeah, we've been dealing with her. No, like that mean airline lady. She kicked me out. Finally, I get the seat I deserve. I can't believe they tried to stick me next to that boring couple. They have nothing better to do than to get married. Why did they kick the boy out, honey? Because his game was injuring your hearing aids. You could go deaf. I don't have hearing aids. Shh. We don't want them to find out. Yes, dear. Gretchen, can you inform the passengers that we're making an unscheduled landing? Unscheduled landing? What is this all about? Something from headquarters about a problem passenger. Okay, we will make the announcement. Where are we going? Dallas. That's what the top brass wants. Whatever headquarters wants, headquarters gets. You'll make the announcement. Passengers, I regret to inform you we're going to have to make an unscheduled landing. We're going to have to deplane a passenger because of an unaccompanied child. Yes! They're finally getting rid of that kid because of that stupid game he plays. Cody! There you are. Dad! What are you doing here? Uh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Sterling, to what do we owe this honor? It appears we've had an incident with a passenger on this plane. Yes, I know, we had a child in first class. Where else would you expect the son 
of the president of this airline to sit. Oh my goodness, I didn't know. Is there something you want me to do? That's all right. I'll take care of it personally. Pardon me, ma'am. You're in someone else's seat. Oh, they kicked that kid off the plane. This is my seat now. No, if anyone's being kicked off this plane, it's you. What? You can't kick me off the plane. Oh, yes, I can. I'm president of Totally Airlines. What? What am I supposed to do now? I don't know, but you're going to have to find a different flight home. Come on, son. You and I are going to sit in first class for the rest of this flight. Okay. Karen got kicked off the flight for being difficult. I wonder what will happen the next time she flies. She can't possibly be first class. Look at the way she's dressed. Shh, she can hear you. Excuse me, bro. Coming through. Coming through. Oh! Oh, hey, there you are. I wondered when you'd get here. It's tough holding a spot for you. You can't just cut. The line's back here. I'm not cutting. She's holding my place. Is that so? I don't believe you. Let me see your tickets. <laughs> We're not showing you our tickets. Honey, let's just worry about our own tickets. Do you think it's fair that they can just get away with anything? Okay, so here's your ticket. Now we're getting picked up at the gate by the driver and then we're going straight to the venue. Listen to them. They have a car taking them to the venue. It's more like taking them to court. <laughs> you know no, what? I... It, it's not worth it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are you seeing this? It looks like people are taking pictures of this guy. Yeah, they can clearly see how out of place he is, too. Well, we almost made it through incognito. Uh, no, don't worry about it. You did fine. It was the unwanted attention. Oh, now you're blaming me for this? Girl, there's only one of us making a scene. Do you guys have any other first class tickets I can buy? What does he think he's doing? I don't know. I don't see anyone else with them. Ah, yes, we have two more seats available. Hmm, great. I'll take them. Great. He's bluffing. He can't afford those. Those are $2,500 a piece. Hmm, I guess I'm gonna have to sell more concert tickets. <laughs> tickets, please. Uh, we, we were hoping to upgrade to first class. Oh, I'm sorry, but the gentleman ahead of you actually purchased the last two first class tickets. You're gonna have to travel economy. <sighs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. <sighs> tickets? Two. For economy. I'm sorry, these tickets are no longer valid. What? You're not flying today.